Let's go now. Pack the stick. Ready, ready? Come on, set!
from the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 51 back in 2017. We are inside NRG Stadium in Houston. Today it's week four and we've got what should be a great one here as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Houston Texans. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone, and they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. the 20 to the 22. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. So second and four from the 22. Pick it, back to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. It's pretty early in the game, but they've already tried to establish him not just as a runner, but as a receiver as well. Didn't happen there, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them try again shortly. From the gun on third down, pick it. A rifles run, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Throwing now is Stroud. Swings this one out wide for Pierce. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing, but in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. The second down throw now from Stroud. second touchdown on the season and the Texans take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown extra point by Fairbairn up and good and that makes the score seven nothing so after the touchdown here's Fairbairn now to kick it away Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Now remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal... And that's caught inside the 30. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Deontay Johnson, 76 yards. And the Steelers are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Boswell good with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Alert! A oh, man coming off a great rookie year. It's Damian Pierce. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. 
The Texans are one and two through the first three weeks of the season, and they fell in the opener, got back on the beam with a win in week two, but stumbled again last week to fall under 500. And despite that stumble, I don't think anyone's too concerned because they've made mistakes that they believe are correctable. And this is a team still getting to know each other. I'm not that concerned, and neither are they. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. Well, this offense will definitely utilize him as a weapon out of the backfield because he was close to 100 yards receiving a week ago. So they will try to get him to football in space, as they did right there. Stroud now on second down. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 44-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves to James. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now a throw here to his running back, and he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll bring up a second and short. On second down, here's Pierce. And he gets it down to the 32. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Stroud now on first and 10. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Again on second down, it's Stroud. Escaping the pressure right. And he finds his target, it's Schultz. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention. Because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space. And he found the right spot for the completion. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Stroud will look to throw once more. Caught left side, here's Dill. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. From the four, it's second and a couple. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. And he takes this across the 15 to the 17. Bringing him down defensively, Jayon Brown. Off play action, pick it. Open man downfield is Johnson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's a gain of 35. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Harris running straight ahead. And he's into the clear. He's to the 15. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Najee Harris, his third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Steelers have taken the lead. Well, earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Out of the end zone, it's 2-2 Atwell. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards.
The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Last time out, remember they fumbled the football. That led to the touchdown. And Charles, they were in the red zone, so that's a backbreaker. They got to try to pick up the pieces here on this drive. Yeah, and actually started to do the math here, so be patient with me. 12 point swing is the way I calculated because not only did they drop the ball in the red zone, they watched the opponent score a touchdown right after that. So their goal, have a drive here and try and get some of those points back. Stroud sets up the play action. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. You look at this Steeler defense, and they find themselves just outside the top 10 in the league against the pass, currently bringing up the number 11 spot. So I'm prepping for this game. I kept asking myself the question, what's keeping this group from being top 10 in the league against the pass? And too many mistakes, especially little mistakes. And when those add up into big mistakes, big mistakes add up into points against you. Stroud on third down now. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And Edward is well upfield across the 45. On first down, here's Stroud. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well. Creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Flush to his right. Over the middle complete. That's Schultz. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 30. Stroud wants to change it up with an audible. Now a play fake here on first down. And that one too wide and incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Play action. Stroud now. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. There's your co-NFL record holder, T.J. Watt, doing what he does best, terrorizing quarterbacks. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Stroud here on third and long. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And the Steelers are going to take possession here at their own 33. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And their last two drives, both ending in touchdowns. It's gotten them this 14-7 lead. And it looks to me, and I think you're... Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That goes for a gain of 31. How about the first half he's putting together? Well over 100 yards already with that last catch. And to me, they'd be well served to keep looking his way. A number of big plays already in this one. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Second down, here's Pickett. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession. But the coverage held, it goes incomplete. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. That'll be taken in there by Miles Boykin. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 25-yard line. Now pick it. 
complete to his tight end fire move. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12. First and 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Dialing up another pass here. Pick it. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Najee Harris with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Steelers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point put through by Boswell, and it's now 21-7. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Atwell now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together. Say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. 19 tight, 19 tight. Stroud off the play fake. Man open here is Jones. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37 yard line. First and 10, it's Pierce. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. Play action. Here's Stroud. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Panther 11, Panther 19, light. Back to throw, here's Stroud. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive, stalled out here. I'm gonna give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And the Steelers are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, Pickett. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Pick it to throw on first down. They'll get this complete to Calvin Austin. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. A big play that time on the catch and run. 39 yards. Ready. 
Here's Pickett. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. The line of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal. Pickett right back to the air again. Toward the pylon, caught. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they worked on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season. They got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Harris, touchdown, Pittsburgh. And how nice is it to have a guy like Najee Harris in the backfield when you get down near the goal line? He can use his 230-plus pound frame to just get you those tough yards, and he finishes things off here with a touchdown run. Boswell good with the extra point, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, see that we're having. Stroud is hit and the ball is loose. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. And so the last three drives, you've got two interceptions and a fumble. I think we know why they're losing right now. Without question, and we've seen the evidence, just what you talked about there. If they take... Touchdown! Miles... His first touchdown on the year. And the Steelers are able to add on to their first half lead. Boswell for the extra point. It's up and good, and they're in control now. 35 to 7. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Atwell now from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Come on, come on. Hey. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Now a second and 10. On second down, it's Stroud. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Schultz. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Stroud now on first and 10. That's caught again by Schultz. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. And they get to Stroud, nowhere to go, and he goes down. T.J. Watt, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Final play of the half, Stroud taking a shot for Dell here. They intercept Stroud again, the third time in this game. 
Picked up by Minka Fitzpatrick, and he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. Atwell now from his end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. At their own 27-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. That's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they say to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. Stroud now on second down. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Stroud to throw it. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown, Texans. Damian Pierce, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Texans are able to cut into that deficit. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And that'll cut the lead back down to 21. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Pick it. Back to throw. He finds his man, Johnson. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. The picket finding Johnson there. First down, Steelers. Now a give running left is Harris. And this is going to be a Steelers first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. And they regroup defensively after the broken tackle, getting to him just beyond the 45. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. Pick it now to throw off the play fake. He's going to air one out. Got a man. It's caught at the six-yard line. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. 
Deontay Johnson, his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Extra point put through by Boswell, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Atwell now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty... And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. All right, partner, Deuce is wild on this sequence. Two plays, two sacks, and now two points thanks to the safety. Offensively, there just didn't seem to be much of a plan when they came out on attack. That let the defense create a little chaos up front and set up one of their guys to make a play and get through and record the sack. Pickett leads the Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their own 28-yard line. Harris will start to drive out. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 111 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now here's another carry for Harris. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Najee Harris, 52 yards. And the Steelers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Go ahead and give him the hat trick. He's been in the end zone now three times. You, you toss your fedora first, okay? You go ahead and do that. But let's be honest about it. That third one... That's the most spectacular run he's had in the ball game. It's almost as if he's been playing his own game of, can I top this? And each run has been more spectacular than the last. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Atwell now from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Stroud. Looking deep for Julio. And he's got it inside the 10. A huge play there for Houston. 53 yards. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Fairbairn now to add the extra point. So they get one score back, but still a long ways to go here in this third quarter. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. 
And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder into ball carrier, and down he goes. Johnson's got it complete. Now he's loose again. Off to the races, Deontay Johnson. And in for the Steelers, touchdown. Deontay Johnson, 89 yards. And the Steelers get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football. Julio Jones all alone. He's to the 15. Touchdown. Julio Jones with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Texans are able to eat in just a bit to this sizable deficit. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbear. So they get one score back, but still a long ways to go here in this third quarter. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. Ball at the 23, second and eight. Looking to throw, pick it. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing on third down. Here's Pickett. A short one there to Flyermuth. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know I spent a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers, but they're still big people. He used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Oh, well, now Harris lost it. It's a fumble. Well, one of the linebackers has got it. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Well, he has been a workhorse for them in this game, and ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it, when he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. 
They just have more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. They're going to hurry back to the line now. First down, here's Stroud. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. He's got it to Collins complete. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Here's Stroud. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans! Take down a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Texans get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth-quarter deficit. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that will shave a bit off the lead as it's down to a 23-point game. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. Down the numbers, there he goes. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick, can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all, and if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. Boy, 179 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. From the 38 now, here's second and four. They'll keep it on the ground, Harris again. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not gonna go anywhere. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. From the gun, here's Pickett. That swung out wide to Harris. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run, and it'll move the chains. Pickett gonna bootleg it. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Derek Stingley picks it. And the Texans are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. First and 10, it's Stroud. Man open here is Jones. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Stroud to the air on first and 10. This one left side caught by Collins. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing now is Stroud. He's got his man, it's Pierce. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. And now they're in the hurry up. Again, it's Stroud. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. The second down throw now from Stroud. And his throw here is incomplete. But it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Stroud on third down now. And oh no, it's incomplete. Well, it's a touchdown if he holds on, but somehow took his eyes off of it, falls to the ground, and brings up fourth down. Fourth down, fourth quarter, here's Stroud. He's got his running back out of the backfield. Touchdown, Texans! 
Damian Pierce, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Texans' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back Ready? after this. Now the Houston offense is going to stay out there as they'll try for two. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. Stroud's going to try to throw for the conversion. Flushed out right. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by DeMonte Casey. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And he returns this to the 22. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Certainly no reason to panic. They've got the three-score lead, but... The turnover last time, the interception that led to a touchdown, you'd have to think that we might not be dialing that up again. Yeah, probably not. They're still in fantastic shape, though, so I would imagine before he tried it out here for this series, head coach probably just leaned over to him and was like, listen, we're wearing these color shirts. Throw it to those guys, not the others. Try to make a joke out of it and just let him go out there with a little bit more confidence. And this offense on third down today, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and 11. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. So illegal touching, not one you see often. It's going to wipe away a first down. Very simply, if you're a receiver, you can't set foot out of bounds and then be the first to catch the football. Side judge, right there on the play, made the call. And this one goes sailing out of bounds. Where did it cross? Well, they're going to say on this side of midfield. Ready, ready. Stroud now on first and ten. Looking downfield for Jones. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Stroud off the play fake. Crossing right, and he hits his man. It's Jones. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Ready. And Stroud now to throw. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him. And after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Stroud now on second down. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over in that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Normally, being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 14. Stroud will look to throw once more. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. Second and ten, here's Stroud. And he 
just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Stroud now on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because We've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. It happened in the NFL. The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants. They got his man complete. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. That one looks like he'll throw here. A throw left side, caught by the tight end, Fryermuth. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. On first and ten, it's Pickett. And quickly, he just gets that ball out of there. Not quite sure what he was doing, and here comes the flag. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Here's Pickett. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. But it's intercepted. They got Pickett for the third time in this game. Jalen Petrie picks it off, and the Texans are going to get the football back at their own 17. One final shot for C.J. Stroud. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. Miles Killebrew with a pick. And the Steelers are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Uh, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but, boy, their offense was on fire in this ballgame. And, partner, I have no idea what the top speed is.